In this video, we're going to be talking about op-amp saturation. Now, op-amp saturation is something that happens when you exceed the maximum or minimum voltages that the op-amp can output. So before we get deeper into that idea, let's talk about this inverting amplifier that we have here. So the inverting amplifier that we have has a gain equation that relates the output voltage and the input voltage as negative RF divided by RI. Now, RF is the feedback resistance that links the output of the op-amp back to the input. In this case, it's a 2K resistor. And the input resistance to this circuit is going to be 1K. So we can write that VO is equal to negative 2K divided by 1K multiplied by VI. And that's the same thing as saying negative 2VI because the Ks cancel. So what this means for Vn being this green sinusoidal voltage, that the output voltage should be negative two times this graph. So when the input voltage is positive two, the output voltage should reach negative four. And when the input voltage is negative two, our output should be positive four. And this is what we should expect the graph to look like based on the gain equation. Now this is where the idea of saturation comes in. So unlike the resistor, the op-amp has the ability to deliver power to your circuit. And there's actually an external power supply connected to this device in order for it to have the behavior it does. And what that means is based on how this op-amp works, it cannot output a voltage more than the maximum or less than the minimum value that's supplied to it. In this case, we're given that the output's connected to a positive 3 volt and negative 3 volt supply. So what this effectively does is it limits the largest value that the op-amp can output to positive 3 volts, and it limits the lowest value the op-amp can output to negative 3 volts. So instead of the op-amp being able to reach positive and negative 4 volts, the op-amp's going to try to output that value, but instead it's going to get clipped at 3 volts negative and 3 volts positive. So the signal is going to look more like this. And this is what's called saturation. And saturation is said to occur exactly at the maximum or minimum value that the op-amp can actually output. The values that the op-amp are connected to, the rail voltages, this positive and negative 3 over here, don't have to be the same value. You could connect this to negative 5 and positive 6. That's something that can vary from problem to problem. But the important thing to know is that if you calculate the voltage should be one thing, but that happens to be outside the range of the rail voltages connected to your op-amp, make sure instead that you write that the op-amp reaches its appropriate limit, whether that's the positive rail or the negative rail. 